all right all right all right back with a let's try so after playing the um, the other darius uh you know remaster i would call it right the hd remaster it did look a little bit into you know games like that i did another game that i tried and then we have this one there there Darius Burst S Chronicle Savior. So what is interesting with this one is Don't know what that is. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Language is okay. Controls. What is this? Um, we have shoot. Turn right. First, a my bus left button left stick on okay um can i remap did you know don't see any difference formula shoot turn bomb you know what shoot on burst by your burst oh you can do that x on burst fire burst maybe okay remapping works that's nice so shoot shoot so one of the things that you might have probably noticed hopefully by now is that this is a game that supports 32 by 9 and that is something that i think is amazing for platformers 2d games to have that huge horizontal just almost a game changer um i think that the 32 by 9 the ultra wide aspect ratio only works in in one of these modes it might only work in the ac mode not in the cs mode unless we we're gonna try to, to try oh, oh wait mate we're gonna try to try that one first but yeah i wanted to try this because it looks very interesting serious from the, the other one but it felt a little bit old style i don't know something there that didn't click for me personally but i'm very interested in this one you know the ultra wide screen graphic look interesting um use your skills honed from achieving ahead for the final zone go from one of three difficult levels and attempt to reach the final zone these to the higher the lower pad leads to high different different level uh, oh let's go for original mode um default proceed to zone setting with, without changing it your stock of shift will not decrease until you the game. Or, um, where is one? We're gonna start easy and we're gonna go the upper path to stay with easy. Um, push start. Okay, seems. Uh, wait a minute. Free play. That's sad. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess we're in it. We are in it. Right, you can flip around. Uh, let me just lower the volume a little bit for safety here.
Yeah, that is some kind of burst weapon. How do I know how many burst weapon I have? If I do... Yeah, yeah, I love this graphical style here. Uh, with with a bit of a 3D feel to it. And... And a huge 32 by 9 aspect ratio is really, really nice, also. Uh, I don't know. Whoa, shit. Um, oh. How do I know how many bars like that? I'm not sure how... Don't know what... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Now I think I see. Okay. okay. I'm trying to learn again. So if I do this... Yeah, okay. So that little... So the, the little... I'm gonna have to load this a little bit more, I feel. So the little... Bar below my ship. That's my kind of super burst weapon. Hmm? Oh, wrong button. That this one opens up. Some kind of, there we go, super weapon. And I can turn it off. I'm out of Yeah, kick, kick the, get that boss down and select zone. So this is more difficult and this is more easy. So this right. It is interesting that you can turn it around. So far I haven't used that a lot, the turn around thing. Okay, oops, cannot destroy that. Let's clear a path. I need to figure out how that extra weapon that I used there, how that works though. So, this is uh, something new that you can. Oops, I'm at. Took damage there. You can go and switch back and forward here. But the red is the weapon mode. The green is my bombs, I believe. The blue is my shield. figure out how this one works. My extra weapon there. 
if it's a charge up, if it is a constant. Yeah, it seems like it is both. It's a charge up. Okay, it seems to be using my second. Yeah, okay. It's it uses my burst energy. That's a charge up. Yeah, that's good to know. Whew. You had a bit of difficulty here. The only thing that I'm wondering a little bit about here is um, if there is a mode with limited amount of lives. Because I would love it to, you know, not have infinite continues. Oh, my shield is out. And I do like that I can, on the easy mode, can keep my... my weapon. So far this feels uh, much more fun than, uh, to me at least, than uh, the other one. More my style of game. But we definitely need more games that use... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this is what I am a little bit worried about, that you have... Game over. I don't know how to... what to do there. I couldn't insert... free to play. I couldn't... Oh, okay. See the zones. Oh, wow. Without changing the entry time. What is this mode? Um. Press any button. Yeah, I don't know if you can have. Is this infinite continuous mode now? The other one I only have a few lives? That's the bomb. That's the shield, I want the blue one. There we go. Red is weapon, this one... Green should be... That should be shield. So you can shoot the projectiles from this one. That's an interesting one. I didn't utilize the turn around too much. This seems really interesting. I just gotta figure out if there is a good uh, like middle ground. I want a, like a thick set of lives and a few different... I don't want it to be infinite continuous. I want it to be a challenge. I want it if I destroy ships like this that I will, you know, the more I damage I do to the enemies, the more I might unlock lives and stuff like that, but I don't want it to be uh, infinite continuous that I can just keep on going. No, 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 but I don't know if you can set that one up. I want a few continuous. Oh, 
like this weapon that I have now. Oh shit, I got it! Damn, you son of a... How many ships to have? Times one? Oh, infinite ships, it looks like. Oh shit. You know what? Let's... I wanna see something here. Okay. Yes. We're gonna try a different mode here. I wanna else try to peak to tweak this uh, to see if I can get like the difficulty down to something that I really really fits me. Um so if we go the original first default entry, right? Easy mode. Huh. Okay, that's second silver for my silver hawk. Right. And then this is just nothing I can do here. So I have two lives, but I don't have any continue here. Hello? Um, okay, so my all my settings got reset. <laughs> what? Shoot, turn, burst. Okay, so I have only two lives, but I don't have any any continuous. But it says free to play, which makes me think that I should have... Which to me signifies that I should have... Hmm. That I should have infinite continuous. I'm just not sure how it how it works. Who are with different ships and that they have different shooting modes here? This seems really nice. The only thing again is that I really would like to hope that I could tweak. Week the, the amount of continuous. Uh, otherwise, it's really nice with the different uh, ships here, the different difficulties. Cool graphical style, really fun in this one. Uh, I don't, I just don't know if I can switch. I'm gonna try something again, I'm sorry. I'm really wondering how to... There we go. Hero lives. Continue. So how do we do here? Okay, so I have infinite continues. Um... Counter main yes. That's the only thing. I want a fixed amount of continues. I guess you could just say, hey, I'm just gonna use three continues, but then you gotta keep it in your head, your mind, how to do stuff like that. Um, let's try the different modes to see if they are different.
And what is this? So... AC mode. Uh, boom, boom, boom. This has a ton of good stuff going for it. It's only running at 60 frames. Minor thing here, a locked 60 frames, but hey. So, original mode, use all your skill, hope for error, head for the final zone. The ways of mission objectives. Let's try chronicle mode. Proceed to zones like without changing. Uh, infinite ships, then. Your stock of ships will not decrease until you game. Over. So this is infinite lives, the other one is infinite continuous. Uh, I don't know what's the real what's the difference is there. To my knowledge at least, this seems like it had infinite ships. But if since it is free to play, I have infinite continuous and the continuous taught me where I died anyway. So what is the difference? Fixed battle with a fixed set of equipment. Only bonus point as here. Equilibrium that it must be cleared without using continue. Oh, let's try this, I guess. Um, press any button. Okay. Do you have to do this for every single ship? This is stupid. Oh, for every single ship I get, I need to switch this. That's ridiculous. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, 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 holy shit. I have two... see uh, controls again uh, shoot turn burst fire burst okay. oh not sure what how the upgrades work in this right now Is they seem to be some kind of seems to only be be gray orbs, and it said it said a fixed upgrade. So I'm thinking it might be. And shoot the yellow one projectile. So it seems to be that my upgrades get done for me. I don't have to choose my like the colors. Only pick upgrade orbs, and it will be a fixed upgrade. Okay, so it's a little bit interesting, like to figure out which. Which upgrade you can and you cannot, uh, which bullets, projectiles uh, you can, or which one you cannot, like, destroy or shoot. It would be nice if they were, like, color code a little bit, like the small ones I can shoot down here. Uh, the bigger ones I cannot, if I get a hit on here. Oh. Am.
Yeah, okay, so infinite continuous. It, it takes away from the experience. It's definitely the only thing so far that uh, been a bit off-putting to me is the infinite continuous here. It kind of removes the challenge. So I can shoot. Not those. Oh, that this is bullet hell deluxe. Deluxe. How do you dodge all of that? Maybe this can destroy. Yeah, this might be able to destroy you. Oh, we hell. I think like my burst weapon can destroy some heavier projectiles. That's nice. Uh, you know what? We're gonna try different modes here. It is really nice and interesting lock 60 frames, so we can remove that using basically zero VRAM, just one point, about one gigabyte VRAM, RTX 37 to 10%. Ryzen 5 600X, one thread about up to 80%, 80, 90, so about a single threaded game, this one. Um, Expert Extreme X, uh, well, I'm not ready for, well, you know, let's see. This... How is this different? Is this just even more crazy... Even more crazy... Difficulty? Oh, it seems like it uh, might just be harder difficulty, this one. Yeah. No. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let, let's try the other, the CS mode, to see what that is. So what is this mode? Uh, blah, blah, unit has been one year since war broke out, man. Reset. Okay. Lots of nice little options. So this is going to be... This is 16 by 9. Unfortunately, I cannot... I can't change from 16 by 9 to 32 by 9. Um, then it had to be separate videos. You know, I... YouTube cannot dynamically switch. Nice music here. So this might be the more casual mode. Seems like I have... Oops, I did it wrong there. So it seems like here I have two... Two lives. I wonder if it doesn't say free to play. Free to play. So this might be more of the casual mode or console-like mode. We graphical style. Oops. Battleship, all right. Holy! Oh, 
right so we can see different oh right it switches side it's uh, definitely a nice idea here The zone is over. It's it's a shame that this mode doesn't support, you know, this the super ultra wide also. Um because if this mode feels like the mode that I would like to play more. And this mode is only <laughs> only 16x9. It's nice, it's definitely nicer than 4x3, but Again, I really recommend if you have haven't try to play a good side scroller or 2D game in a 32 by 9 aspect ratio instead of 16 by 9. The overview is amazing. Uh, the free demo that you can try if you don't mind Metroidvania style is the the Mobius machine. I've been nice and lucky to be able to play test the full game and it's amazing and it supports that game supports super ultra wide and just the the sheer amount of uh, holy crap of overview you get from just uh, Playing that aspect ratio is amazing, and for games like this also, like, you have so much wide over you and just makes a, such a nice difference. Okay, so the bottom left one, that is my... My meter, or my burst. Yeah, this is a really, this really nice game again. I just wish the other mode had uh, continuous that I could set and not have unlimited. Because it would have been really awesome to play the other mode. It seems to be more of um, oh, like an arcade cabinet port. No idea if it uh, if that's what it was, but it felt like that. But 
this feels like a very nice new like introduction to games like this so far nice casual difficulty not super easy or anything again i just wish it was proper 32 by 9 support it's the only like for this mode so far and and overall they has to be able to maybe configure the the continuous for both for all of the modes whoa Uh What's the difficult difficulty settings here? I forgot. Maybe it was. Um, but I guess I took easy settings then. And yeah, it feels like a good start uh, difficulty here. New mission mission has been on. Left button zoom out and why? Okay, so this one I have done. Have I done this? Probably not. No high score. Six continuous maybe with six lives? Three lives, two lives, four lives. I don't know. Alright, so I haven't done this one. Let's try this one. What is select? Select or something. Doesn't seem like I have unlocked anything here. Yeah, okay, let's go with this one. to exit out and just see if I can uh, use different difficulty settings to play around with. We start off with a boss here? That's uh, something. Yeah, okay, so the burst one can remove some of the thicker, more heavier... Oh. Bullets, that's really nice. there it's a like um i think one thing that i would need is a tutorial introduction to all of the things in this game i'm 13 there's so much going on that i just don't really understand i got like the basic stuff down but
I'm 16. Is that like an enemy multiply or something? Wow. This was a much more difficult one. Oh, yeah. Like the multiplier is... Uh, is for how much damage I've done in a row. left i don't wonder if i do have any continuous i probably should maybe die final zone is over okay mission complete one two three four five six one two three this is like two bosses and one stage okay uh, two bosses in this one. I haven't done this one. I don't know about that one. I don't know what... Okay, so here we start with... Uh, different... Oh shit, oh a rock, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here we start with a different... Uh, weapon loadout. Okay, so the multiplier seems to be by... Oh shit. Goes up to 16 if I... Like, depending on how many enemies I do. I don't know, maybe I do more damage when the multiplier is by 16? Maybe I will give, get more... Faster burst recovery? Okay, so when I get a lot of enemies, the bursts seem to be automatically replenish itself a bit faster. Okay. Interesting. I only have one lives left here. Zero lives. Oh crap. Don't know about the arm. Shoot, turn, burst, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't know what the arm arm things on the HUD means, unfortunately. Three arms. Maybe that's just my arm type or something. Final zone is over. Yeah. 
you complete that's two zones and one two three this is four zones um well let, let's just go for it and see what's happening here let's just start off we start with multiply number seven right no multiply number weapon here oh, no. Want the blue ones, definitely. Those are very important. The blue are my armor. I, at the current moment, I have armor level 2 here. The one thing that might be off putting, uh, not off, put, off putting, but is. Uh, A little bit missing is I think is it like R type and Gradius that had like um oops more of like indoor so far this has this have has only been base settings nothing wrong with only space settings but like whoa my burst is not refilling okay so my burst gets refilled the more kills i get at least in the, right now maybe the burst will be charged by taking out projectiles also see that's So the more damage I do, the more the more the burst uh, my special weapon gets charged up. Really cool, cool thing. Oh, yeah. okay, I got hit there. what happens now when I finish like the first part here the zone is over okay the B zone be on your guard Killing all of these small really helps with like oof, getting my burst gauge up. 
it's really ah oh, damn it get there it really is nice i do really enjoy that taking down enemies it charges up your you know, or hitting enemies charge charges up your whoa your special weapon and that it can be used to clear oh whoa clear up here are some projectiles. I was trying to be sneaky. two lives arm two again i don't really know what the arm two thing is maybe i'm missing some hail five or, or something okay a new mission has been on no? oh okay so this one so I should do one thing here. We don't know about this one. It doesn't seem like I can do anything of that. So one thing I want to try is just by ending this, um, just getting. I want to get just uh, lose all my lives here. See if I have continuous or if it is just lives, and then I want to see if, what like settings I use. If I use like easy mode or something. There we go. Mission failed. Points out. So what happens now? Okay. So I have to finish the entire stage with the fixed number of lives. Uh, if I go back. Yeah, that's really nice in the CS mode thing. If we go back to the CS mode. Okay, so this is just a fixed difficulty. I'm gonna do a stop here and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a let's try more on this game uh, in the CS mode and I'm gonna just play it in 16 by 9 maximize the screen area and everything and just see what's happening with that let's try more for that game it will be really fun um like the graphic here is nice the sound is fine um it's a little bit uh, I haven't grasped every aspect, unfortunately, of what it means, like the arm thing. Maybe if you are more invested in the older games, that makes more sense, right? I like the AC mode, I like the arcade, can I, arcade cabinet, I guess, or the console mode here. Um, seems interesting. The only thing is, it's a bit sad that you couldn't get the ultra widescreen going. But I guess if the if the console mode are made for console or the CS mode or that casual mode, whatever it might be, uh, the Chronicle Saviors mode, who knows? If that were made for the yeah, 16 by 9 screens, that makes sense, right? That uh, for this PC port, they didn't redesign the entire game. This is like just maybe a little bit of a remaster, but not a remake, so they couldn't remake all of the game to work in 32 by 9. But the arcade mode or the cabinet mode there i believe it kind of supported several stacked cabinets to kind of make that mode available so maybe that's why that works and that is amazing 
like more games need to have that 2d games absolutely is amazing in that uh, so i guess some people are always gonna be like oh but it breaks the game you see too much and blah 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 but it's just it's amazing like i would love to play super mario games like super mario world or contra and have the game being you know just expanded horizontally from the 4x3 to that 32 by 9 aspect ratio just see that nice big horizontal feel it's just so fun it really is uh, but there's definitely going to be people that think that the games the older 4x3 or some um, 16x9 games that that's part of the charm you're not supposed to be ahead because that makes you react um but it's just it's so fun it gives you it's hard to explain i just love it i recommend you try that that's the biggest positive about this. The rest feels, you know, fine. I think the, the CS mode is really interesting here with uh, you have a stage, have a set kind of set amount of lives and you finish that stage. Really like that mode. That works great with what seems that you have infinite continuous, but that works great, right, for that mode. And you have one difficulty, uh, always nice with difficulty settings, but it seems to work. It seems to be easing you into it quite nicely. So I like that mode. That is something that I want to do and let's try more focused on. For the AC mode, though, um, I would really like, obviously, it, if they just took the, the arcade, the cabinet, and they ported it up, it makes sense that, you know, you have, like... In the R case, you put in money and you could continue, right? That's what they want you to do they, to make the fun earn money. But it doesn't really, to me, translate into a PC game here. Because if I can just press continue and I don't have any penalty, I don't restart a stage or anything, it just doesn't make any sense to me. That's why the CS mode is just more fun. The AC mode's biggest strong point is just the super ultra wide 32 by 9 aspect ratio support. It's also a bit shame that uh, all of these are just running 60 frames, but I guess it's just what the arcades and the uh, console things they were going for, just 60 frames. This again would have been great with higher refresh rate. And uh, and the, then the overall thing for all of this game is it's fun, it's nice, it's a nice little bullet hell and extra super debushed weapon there. Two modes, really nice. Would like a tutorial to how to utilize some of it and what it means, but you know, I think I worked out the most of it. And it's really fun. I like the burst mode that can clear out projectiles and everything like that, and that it's being charged up by shooting enemies and stuff like that. But Compared to like, again, Life Force, Gradius, and uh, what more, Salamander, like other games like this, side-scrolling 2D shooters, shoot em ups, I miss environment, like it's just a vase space, nice and everything, but it's like, there's uh, really nothing going on here, and I like that with those old games, you like traveling caves, or in like some spaceships or um yeah some facilities like something there uh, to me but this was a really great much more enjoyable to me personally than darius burst uh, hd the darius hd thing there from the playstation one and the arcade remaster thing uh, the, like this ran smoother it had a cleaner look to it which made some of the things easier to see, the projector and stuff like that. And overall, uh, the, the kind of main gun and the secondary gun, especially the secondary, the burst hacking, has worked a little bit more nicer to me than in the first one. So this is more to me, and it's going to do another let's try of just the CS mode, right, in 16x9 full glory. And stay tuned for that, you can, you know, Follow or check back the channel if you don't want to miss that and other playthroughs and less tries. And you know, thumbs up, leave a comment about these games or things in general if you feel like. 
And if nothing else, have a great day and bye for now.